meeting of the Whitley County Planning Commission, June 20th, 2012. <clears throat> we'll begin with Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dave Addison. Here. Bill Auer. Here. Brandon Forrester. Here. John Johnson. Here. Kenneth Carrick. Here. Paula Reimers. Here. Dave Schilling. Here. George Shrunk. Here. And Doug Wright. Here. Okay, we have two sets of minutes. Uh, one, first one from the March 21st, 2012 meeting. Any additions or corrections or uh, would I entertain a motion? I can make a motion that we accept the minutes for the March 21st, uh, 2012 meeting. I'll second the motion. The motion has been made by George, seconded by Paula to approve the March 21st meeting minutes. Any further discussion? All in favor signify by raising your right hand. Opposed, same. Unanimous, Kathy. And we also have minutes from April 4th special meeting. Any additions, corrections, or a motion? I'll move make. Stuff. Go ahead. Bill moved. To I'll accept. second. Motion has been made by Bill, seconded by Paula to approve the April 4th meeting minutes. Any further discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. All right. Aye. Opposed, same. I'm staying, Brandon. Wasn't here. Okay, we're going to move into old business. Item 1, 10 WZOA 2 Wind Energy Conversion System Ordinance, County Commissioner's Revisions. And I'll pass it over to Dave. Thank you. The, uh, as a part of the process of uh, ordinance amendment, in this case the zoning ordinance, uh, to approve a uh, section of the ordinance chapter on wind energy conversion systems uh, was referred to the county commissioners by the planning commission. County commissioners after uh, further review and discussion have made uh, some changes to the, or, uh, to the proposed ordinance. And I've uh, got those listed here. The, the changes and the setbacks, uh, both for participating landowners and for non-participating landowners, changing it from the, uh, it, the proposed setbacks to 6.5 times or 2,640 feet. Uh, in each, each of those circumstances. Um, the commissioners uh, cited safety and health concerns and quality of life issues as the reasons for their revisions. The uh, Planning Commission, according to the state statute, since uh, it was, uh, the ordinance was revised, uh, it is sent back to the Planning Commission for your uh, consideration. And you have, at this point in time, two options. One option is to approve the revisions. Second option is to disapprove the revisions. If you approve, which that, that can be done, approving can be done in, in two ways, one of two ways. You can either, at this meeting or any subsequent meeting, within 45 days, make a motion and second, approve to approve the revisions. Once you do that, it will be then uh, forwarded back. Your certification will be forwarded back to the commissioners just the same way it was on the original ordinance recommendation. And then at that point in time, once they receive it, the ordinance is adopted, is, is uh, put into effect at that point. The second way to approve it is to take no action and after 45 days, it automatically becomes 
statute. It automatically becomes law. Uh, the other option is to disapprove it, and in that regards, you certainly would need a motion, and uh, you know, to uh, I, I suppose it would be in this case a motion to approve, which would fail, right? Rather than a motion to dis disprove. So the action on a, a motion, if it's made and, and taken this evening, then would depend upon uh, the vote taken, and then uh, whether whether. Uh, what report would be sent back to the county commissioners. If it would be a motion to disapprove, the commissioners then have 45 days in which to reapprove their revisions, if that makes any sense. If they do not, if, if you would disapprove their revisions and it goes back to them, they would not take any action on it for some reason, would not take a second vote. After 45 days, the original proposed ordinance would then be approved. So it, it, uh, at this point in time, no further changes can be made. No, no uh, suggestions, no, nothing else can be added or taken away from the ordinance. You are uh, to look at it as has been submitted back from the county commissioners. That is your, uh, those are your options, I guess. Thank you, Dave. Does everyone understand our options? <clears throat> Anyone care to make any comments? Have any questions? I'd like to make a, a statement on behalf of the commissioners, if I could. Um, number one, one of the reasons that we went to the, the uh, 6.5 times on the setback for participants and non-participants, um, we felt that if we're going to worry about the safety of participants, we need to also worry about non-participants and participants. We, it, it shouldn't be any different from one or the other. But. Uh, it's kind of an explanation, but on behalf of the commissioners, we want to thank the plan commission and its members for the many hours that you've spent uh, developing this ordinance and, and sending to us. We'd like to let you know that we're asking for the setback change as an attempt to provide additional safety and health protection. We took serious consideration to health, safety, and quality of life issues in our decision to amend the ordinance and want to thank you for providing us the most comprehensive ordinance created by the plan commission. We felt that you guys have done a great job and we did appreciate everything. It made our job a lot easier. Thank you, George. So I guess the next step would be either to do nothing or entertain a motion to approve the changes. I'll make a motion that we approve the changes as submitted by the county commissioners. I'll second the motion. Okay, we have a motion to accept, made by Paula, seconded by Doug. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion signify by raising your right hand. Opposed the same. Five. How did you count that, Kathy? I did three, five, and one. Did, did you vote? You abstained? No, I voted against it. Okay. One, two, three, four. Four, four. Four, four. So 4-4, four, four, the motion does not carry <clears throat> because there needs to be a majority of five in favor of. I don't think there's any need to, unless someone wants to 
bring something up. And you need any reason to further beat this horse. We'll let it stand to 4-4. Next item on the agenda.